Um, hello everyone, this is um, the Red Hog bringing you celebrity scoop um, of the day. Um, my reading is on Jessica Canseco. Oh, I can't get it right. Anyway, Jessica Canseco. We'll just call her Jessica. Jessica is a former wife of uh, baseball great Jose Canseco. Also the former wife of uh, renowned uh, plastic surgeon Garth Fisher. So two times the charm. Miss Jessica uh, right now is a, a full-time working single mom trying to make sure that her 16-year-old daughter uh, Josie uh, stays on the straight and narrow. Um, I believe the question of the day is should Jessica try to uh, get with uh, get back with uh, Garth and as a uh, quote unquote a therapist, uh, life coach, advisor, uh, empowerment person, I would say that um, Jessica definitely needs to concentrate on raising that daughter of hers. Um, Jose, um, of course, ha still has very strong feelings for her as she is the mother of his child kind of hard to uh, break that bond sometimes but um, he's an ex for a reason so uh, my thing is um, although you know Jessica may be torn uh, between um, you know trying to do whatever she needs to do to keep uh, Jose in uh, uh, Josie's life which you know he can be a part of her life without him being a part of Jessica's life. You know, you can co-parent um, without being together with your partner in crime, so to speak. Um, as far as Garth is concerned, um, not really sure um, why that divorce uh, uh, took place, but um, I'm getting the sense that Jessica is starting to second guess herself. Um, I don't know if he was her plastic surgeon and she was so ever grateful uh, <laughs> to him for creating, um, you know, the, the lovely product that she is today. But um, again, I say that people are exes for a reason. And what I would suggest or uh, advise Jessica to do is uh, put 100% of her time and energy into um, Josie as, you know, men are going to come and go. They do. Uh, and living the Hollywood lifestyle that she does, uh, she's not going to, you know, find it too hard to find uh, somebody to replace um, the two uh, past loves in her life. but And Josie only has a couple more years where she's, you know, truly dependent on her mother. So um, I would um, say that um, Jessica really needs to, you know, buckle down and just put all of her focus. I mean, she'll have plenty of time. You know, she's still young enough, cute enough um, to uh, grab whomever um, in the future. But um, I strongly suggest that she um, just focus all of her energies into motherhood because, you know, maybe it's just not time to, um, you know, pursue a romantic relationship as she's had uh, two failed ones, I'd say, you know, get uh, Jesse, I mean, I'm sorry, get um, Josie, you know, up and out, and then she can, you know, have time for herself. But what I'm going to do is um, pull cards for Jessica. Uh, this is what um, I am being told to do, pull cards for Jessica. I'm going to see what the cards have to say as far as her future uh, is concerned and um, and then I'll consult Rosie I have a, um, a pendulum that I call little Rosie actually I always leave off the little one but little word but she's definitely not little she does big things but um, so I'm gonna pull um, past uh, present future cards for Jessica in regards to her life overall and then I'm gonna consult with um, little Rosie to see if you know trying to get back with um, Dr. Fisher is even um, viable so 
um, here we go shuffling 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 I love my cards uh, I do I just <laughs> fondle them all day let them know I appreciate them because they're, they're very accurate okay here we go now um, Jessica if you ever get uh, wind of this video this is what I have for you your uh, uh, what do you call it your past um, immediate past card is the entrepreneur card um, I have not uh, delved I did not want to taint this um, um, this reading by you know looking up you your information and all that jazz that's not what I do uh, I'm a solution uh, solver or solution bringer and I'm gonna have to repeat this video but this is just something for me to uh, get a, a head start on but um, I pulled the uh, entrepreneur card I believe you are an enterprising lady um, you are out there doing your thing already um, so um, you know this is confirmation that you're on the right track as far as working um, for yourself and securing financial uh, security for you and your daughter because you really can't depend on these men folks you already know that um, so as uh, Josie's mother I say continue to um, utilize your um, your celebrity in acquiring the funds that you need to take care of her whether you have a man in her life uh, you know her father in her life or not you know so that's a good thing your present card I pulled was the ask card um, right now you probably feel like you're stressed out um, you know you can't find your way out of a paper bag perhaps um, you know life is tough life is rough you know you need some help why isn't this man you know doing what he's supposed to do spending more time with his daughter how could he leave her and this that and the other well honey ask for some energy ask for some help ask for some guidance um, from your um, your guardian angels they're just sitting there waiting on you to request help help me and sometimes we're so busy doing 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 everything for ourselves that we forget that you know there's a whole nother realm out there waiting to jump in and help us here uh, in the natural realm so uh, Jessica make sure that you uh, reach out and touch your guardian angels your uh, guides ask them for help you know when your your energy is waning or you just you know feel directionless reach out they're there um, I have the service card uh, focus on service card for your um, future um, card um, helping people um, I have not as I said um, looked uh, deep into um, who you are as I did not want to taint um, this reading but you did get the focus on service card so as long as you continue um, helping others um, unselfishly giving yourself um, uh, to your fellow man as far as services or whatever um, you should find solace and joy in that uh, taking your mind off of you know what you've experienced the emotional uh, damage that has occurred due to um, your failed relationships and just know that um, just because those relationships fail does not make you a failure you are a great mom keep up the good work um, that's uh, focus on service I also have um, my pendulum here Rosie I'm gonna ask Rosie to assist in the yes and no question as far as should you reach out and try to rekindle things with Garth um, Rosie um, hello sweetheart as it stands today should Jessica Canseco try to rebuild her relationship with her ex-husband Garth Wow, uh, bad news only if you were really trying to get back with Garth. Um, Rosie says no, no go. 
he's an ex for a reason. Um, you're second guessing your decision to um, leave him. Never second guess your uh, decisions to um, leave a relationship. Obviously, something was not right. Obviously, you weren't being fulfilled in some area. Um, people can't leave if they're happy, okay? So, obviously, you were unhappy about something. And all of our exes are exes for a reason. So, um, Rosie says, no, go. No, go. Um, so, um, concentrate on um, Josie. And in time, after you've done some healing, you've gone through two, you know, major you know, breakups, um, I say it's a time for healing and concentrating on Josie. Um, guys, this has been um, Hollywood Scoop, Celebrity Scoop, I'm sorry, Celebrity Scoop with Red Hawk. Uh, Jessica, call me. <laughs>